We've got an interesting situation right here. You can see the grass line that runs down. That's in about a foot and a half to two feet of water. And as Sonny gradually cuts down into about six feet, these bass are moving up and hurting these, these uh, shad up against his bait. And what we're doing is we're throwing these hollow bellies up against it and just swimming it through, making it look like a shad. And when we find a school that's breaking, we're catching fish on virtually every cast, but we're just blind casting right now and looking for fish to break. We've had a few fish break in this area, but we've taken some big ones along here already. I'm throwing a four inch hollow belly, and this is a Tennessee shad, and actually that's what the fish are keen on, a shad, and this does a great job of mimicking a shad. He's throwing a five inch, which is just a little bit bigger. Both of them are catching fish. Fish, good one, good one. Whoa, man, nice fish. <laughs> we got him in this little cove right here. Don't jump. Look at the size of this guy. Look at that. There you go, Steve. <laughs> there he goes. Good, good one. one. Good one. Good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Woo! He's just he's built almost Chunky. like a northern bass. Yeah, he really does look like that. I learned early on when you rig these not to try and run the hook through like you would a Texas rig worm because this this weight will tear the bait up. What I'd like to do is turn the bait upside down, insert that hook through or right about between the eyes and then bring it out through the front like that. And then I rig the back hook like you would a Texas rig this way, trying to hit right through the middle and right where the, uh, right in the middle of the back like this. So the bait sits relatively straight. I don't have it perfect here, but it sits relatively straight with that hook point kind of buried and then I tie it on. The other thing I learned about this bait is I like to throw it on mono or fluorocarbon. That little bit of stretch seems to make it easier to fish. And what I like to do on the hook set is do a sweep set low and load that whole rod from the butt to the tip. Oh man, that guy is a chunk. That guy must be living at uh, crystals, huh? He's <laughs> a great looking fish out of this There's another one. Ah, two cats in a row. There. There's another one. <laughs> Baby! Three casts in a row. This bait's on fire. That little four inch is deadly. Look at the spots in this guy. I've seen it. it looks almost like a, a red fish in a way. This side's pretty clean, but this side's got a bunch of them. Oh, that's three fish in three casts on this little four inch hollow belly. Good one, good, good real one. good one, real good one. Nice, <laughs> nice jump. Here, you want me to lift him? Yeah. Bring him up. Oh, got him. <laughs> Man, he pulled so hard, I thought he was about twice the size. Just I mean, that's, that's like five, five, six fish in the last 15 minutes. Yeah. We've whaled on them today. I mean, we had a good day today. Yeah, I mean, we've caught lots of fish, all different sizes from little 12 inches all the way up to big, nice fish pushing uh, 20 inches. You know, a, a pattern like this is fun because everybody can do it on lakes that they fish. Mm -hmm. Work that outside weed line and, and, and fish a bait like that hollow belly, just slow, and it's a, it's, a, it's a fun way to fish, especially when the fish are breaking, but it's a technique that's gonna work on a lot of different waters.